Hello my YouTube workout buddies and welcome to today's workout. So today is the first time I'm working out in about four weeks. I haven't really worked out since before I got the flu and before this whole coronavirus thing came about. So um, it's been, yeah, I just want to update you since my last video because I kind of regret posting that video a couple of weeks ago because it, when I posted it, I was like in the midst of like a panic spiral basically just about my health and just, you know, the situation in the world and like just all the things, you know, but over the last few days, like I've started to feel more and more grounded and my motivation I noticed has started to come back a bit. So I thought, you know what? I feel good. I want to do some kind of a, a light cardio type of workout just to kind of ease me back into some movement. So I came up with a 30 minute kind of like moderate intensity cardio interval workout. And I thought I would film it for you guys so we can do this together. Also, let me know if you'd be interested in doing like a live workout. I'm pretty scared of doing live stuff. Just, I don't know, it just seems intimidating. But if I get enough comments saying that you guys want it, I'll consider doing it. So yeah, okay, so for today's workout, what are we gonna do? So today we're doing a 30 minute interval based workout. It's gonna be all body weight. You, um, If you have a band, grab your like booty band kind of thing. Um, we only need it for a couple intervals and if you don't have a band you can still do those intervals the same um, just without the band so if you have a band grab it I think you might need a chair as well um, but other than that it's just gonna be body weight we're, we've got a six minute warm-up and then we've got a 24 minute section so that's gonna be 12 exercises and we're just gonna go through those 12 exercises twice for a total of 30 minutes so I hope you guys enjoy this workout. Um, let's let's get warmed up. All right, guys, we are starting with jumping jacks. We've got three seconds before the timer goes off, so let's go. Just nice and easy for this workout. I'm probably just going to be going at a bit of a slower pace than I normally would, just because I'm just trying to I'm just not trying to go crazy today. So if you want like a more intense workout, you can go ahead and pick up the pace a bit. Try to do more reps in the same amount of time as me or grab some weight, whatever you want to do. 15 seconds left. I'm just wondering, have you guys been really consistent with your home workouts over the last few weeks? Like when this thing all happened, Okay, what's next? <clears throat> Bird dog. Um, so just, you're gonna just be lifting one leg in the opposite arm at the same time, squeezing the glutes and bracing the core. Keep a neutral spine, you're gonna alternate sides. So when this thing all started, everybody just went crazy with posting home workouts and just everybody was like, yeah, I'm working out at home. And like, literally, I couldn't get off the couch for like three weeks. Like, yeah, I was sick for like two of those weeks, but I don't know what happened. Like my motivation was just extremely low. It's just ironic, right? Because what is my channel about? It's like home workouts. What, <laughs> what better time for me to post home workouts is now when I'm laid off of work, squat and reach. Come down into your low squat position. And push your knees out with your elbows. And then we're gonna alternate sides, reaching up and back, twisting that spine. Move, twisting from the spine and not just rotating the shoulder. So, and you can follow the gate, uh, follow your hand with your gaze. So I just thought it was ironic that I had so much time on my hands. I have so much time on my hands, but I'm just finding it extremely difficult to be productive and to be motivated to make videos or, and like last week I took a whole bunch of footage of like, my morning kind of like stretch routine and then just like meals that I've been eating. 
I have to do a voiceover for it, but okay, what's next? Glute bridge. But um, all that footage is still on my camera. I don't know if it's ever gonna make it to YouTube, guys. I don't know. So just bridge up, lift your hips, push through your heels. Squeeze the glutes, obviously. I don't know why everything seems so hard recently, but yeah, maybe I will make that voiceover. I don't know. I don't want to make any promises because I don't want to disappoint people. Not that not having a pretty boring vlog of mine would be a huge disappointment, but you know, I don't like promising things and then not delivering. Feel guilty about it. Okay. Next we have, we're gonna warm up those shoulders and our chest a little bit. We're gonna get into a down dog position and then just do some easy push-ups. You can go ahead and do these on your knees if you want. So down dog, come into plank, squeeze the core, squeeze the glutes, lower down and then push back up, back into down dog. And just go at your own pace. I'm just trying to stretch out my hamstrings and my calves a bit. Activate my glutes by squeezing my butt cheeks together. Mm. Yeah, so I've had quite a bit of guilt lately about my unproductivity and just especially that I should be doing home workouts for everyone now, but it's like at the same time, it's like there's a million people doing home workouts and last interval air squats. And you know, if I don't make workouts, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> okay, so we're just doing body weight air squats. So hinging at your hips, keeping your chest up and squeezing your butt on the way up. Try to keep the whew, tension in your glutes the whole time. Ten seconds left. And then we will have completed the warm up. Good. All right, guys, now that we're all warmed up, let's get going. So come to the top of your mat. And what we're going to do is walk into a plank and do a tricep push up. And during that tricep push up, you're going to keep your arms very narrow and have your elbows kind of brushing your rib cage, squeezing your core, and squeezing your glutes. Walking back up, you can bring your hands up, a little back bend if you like, and back down, walk into plank. Oh, and I also wanted to um, give a shout out or like dedicate this workout to my friend David in Mexico. Um, thank you for your friendship and I hope you enjoy this workout. All right, next up we've got pull squat with a jump squat. If you don't wanna do the jump squat, don't do it. So what we're gonna be doing is you're just gonna be squatting down, pulsing about halfway or quarter way up, pull up, and then a jump squat. So here we go. So pulse it, come up, and jump squat, and come up. Pulse it up, jump squat, and up. And for example, if you wanted a more intense workout, take out the pulse, just do 45 seconds of jump squats. That'll get your heart rate up. We've got less than 10 seconds left. Good. Next up, we are doing oblique mountain climbers. 
So get into plank position. Squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes. You're gonna bring your knee to the opposite elbow. Just go at your own pace. I'm kind of just taking it slow, really focusing on my mind-muscle connection. You should be feeling this in the glutes, or sorry, not, well, you should be squeezing your glutes, but feeling this in your obliques. Good job. Next up, put on your band. And if you don't have a band, that's okay. We're gonna do hip thrusts from the floor. So you're gonna get, a, get into your tabletop position, squeeze your glutes, and hinge at your hips. Pushing your hips up all the way and squeezing at the top. I do miss going to the gym a lot. I have to say that like being in the gym environment around other people is a huge motivator for me. And that's one of the reasons why I've been having trouble doing home workouts because I usually only do one home workout per week. Uh, lateral banded walks. So again, if you don't have a band, you're just gonna get low and do like a side step squat. However, for those of us with a band, you can stay a bit more upright and just using that glute mead. So yeah, like doing a home workout once a week, I can handle that, but I really just prefer going to the gym and using their equipment there, being around other people. I like to see what people are doing. I like to check out what people are wearing. Like, I don't know, I just like watching people at the gym. Like, of course, who doesn't, right? And it just makes me feel so much more motivated when I'm there. Plus, um, banded bird dog right leg. We're gonna repeat the right side with the band on. Again, if you don't have a band, that's okay. So here we go. If you really just wanna focus this more on your glute, you can forget about the hand and just work the uh, glute and the hamstring. I think I'll do both. And of course, like, my main workouts are more heavy weightlifting. So I'll usually use the squat rack, the leg press, the barbells for hip thrusts, and some of the machines like the uh, hip abductor machine. Um, what else? What other machines do I like? Oh yeah, I've been really trying to like get my quads bigger obviously. So okay, we're gonna switch sides, other leg. So I've been using that like um, the quad curl extension machine because <sighs> like my quads and my calves are the most stubborn um, when it comes to growing muscle. I feel like my glutes, my upper body, my core, my back. <laughs> My back is like, I find, I feel like my back is really muscular without me really doing much at all. It all put on muscle relatively easy, but my calves and my quads, like, <laughs> they don't, I'm like definitely part of the uh, team no calves. <sighs> so that's hard because I feel like I'm going to lose all of the uh, progress that I made with my quads because I've really been trying to isolate them with those like machines. Obviously, okay, you can take off the band. 
Obviously we don't have those here, so I feel like I'm just gonna get a bit less muscular over the next few months, but that's totally okay. Okay, prisoner squat jumping jacks. We're gonna get the heart rate up a little bit. So yeah, I'm definitely excited for the gyms to open again, but I don't think that will be happening for a few months, to be honest. I probably won't be able to go back to work at the dental office. Um, probably, I don't know, like it's gonna be probably like six months. Arch body hold. So come down to the mat. This is gonna light up our entire posterior chain. So what you're gonna do is squeeze your glutes, and lift your torso, your legs, your arms off the mat. Really squeeze your glutes here. We're using the entire back side of the body, strengthening and toning up that, those little delicate muscles in your upper back that really help with posture. Fourteen seconds left. So I don't know about you, but I know that my screen time has definitely increased, and I've had like a stiff neck, and uh, just because I've been so legit lazy, I've been sitting a lot, watching a lot of Netflix, and you know that isn't good. We're doing Cossack squats now, so come wide. Sorry, I should stop talking and like preview the exercises better so that you guys know what's happening, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of using this as an opportunity to talk to someone. Because <laughs> living alone in isolation, like it's tough, even though like I'm probably the most introverted person that I know in terms of like how much alone time I need, how little so social interaction I really need. I really don't need a lot, but I like being around people but not having to talk to them, if that makes sense. Um, commando plank, push up and plank hop. So get into your plank. So like one of my routines was to go, I like to go sit at a coffee shop and do my work on my laptop there. So come out of plank, come down, up, push up, plank hop. Again, switch sides. Down, down, up, up, push up, plank hop. So I like to work around people without necessarily having to talk to anybody. But now I can't do that, obviously. Down, down, up, up. And I honestly just do not like talking on the phone. I don't know why, I just hate talking on the phone. So that still drains me, so I just avoid it as much as I can. Okay, pendulum lunge, switch lunge. Starting with the right leg, I'm gonna lunge forward, lunge back. So lunge, whoop, lunge forward, lunge back, switch. Now other side, forward, back, switch. Yeah, who else is like me? Who else likes being around people but not necessarily like interacting with them? Not that I don't like interacting with people. Like, I have, you know, I do like interacting with people, some people at some moments, but for the most part, I feel the most relaxed when I'm like alone. But yeah, this whole quarantine thing, it's getting lonely. Okay, 
take a short water break. We are going to repeat that sec uh, sequence one more time. Okay, so like I said, we're just going to repeat that 12 more minutes and then we're done. How are you guys feeling? I'm, you know, my heart rate is up. I'm like a tiny bit sweaty. I have broken a sweat. Okay, get back to the top of your mat. Walk into a plank. Tricep push-up. But um, I don't feel like super exhausted, so that's good. I was thinking of doing this video. I, I'm not going to do it because I know, I just know I don't want to do this, but I thought it would be actually funny to do like a reaction video to my old like super crazy workouts, like the 800 calorie workouts or whatever that I used to post. I thought it would be funny to make a video of me trying to do the workout, like following my own workout video and just like <laughs> how brutal it would be right now for me to do that. I just thought it'd be funny, you know, have me like swearing at myself on the video. <laughs> yeah, because there's no way I could do those workouts anymore. I just, yeah. <laughs> Pulse squat, jump squat. I still get a lot of comments on those old videos of people like doing them like, you have fun with that. That ain't for me anymore. And jump squat. So remember you're going down, little pulse, come up and jump squat. Twenty seconds left. And after this, we're moving on to oblique mountain climbers. Good. So come to your mat. I'm not going to get to a plank during the rest period like I did last time. Now remember, you're just bringing the, your knee to the opposite elbow going as fast or as slow as you can see fit. Also, let me know in the comments for whoever is doing these workouts right now, if you've been following me for a while, tell me if you're sad that I don't do those crazy workouts anymore or if you're also like over them. I'm just curious like how many people kind of like have gone through the same thing that I have with doing lots of crazy workouts and then just not wanting to do it anymore because so I do get comments still asking for those crazy workouts but it's like no banded hip thrust put your band on I know that I definitely stopped getting as many views and subscribers when I stopped doing the crazy workouts and I stopped posting the uh, calorie burn amount, which, you know, made me kind of sad. But at the same time, I realized that um, the people who left because of that are people who were still stuck in that same disordered mentality that I was. So, yeah. Okay, next up, lateral banded walks. Remember, if you don't have a band, you're gonna be doing like low squat lateral walks, but if you have a band, you can be a bit more upright. Really just don't let your knees cave in here. We're using that side glute muscle to take short little steps. Make sure you're bracing your core. seconds. Whew. 
Awesome. Okay. Now we're moving to bird dog, but actually I think I'm just going to focus on my glute and my hamstrings. So I'm just going to be doing kickbacks with the leg. So I'm going to do the right leg first. So here we go. Brace the core. If you don't have a band on, I would recommend just doing the bird dog. So lift your arm as well to get a bit more core. Make it a bit more challenging. It's burning. How much more? Seven more seconds, guys. Come on. Good. Okay, we're gonna switch the uh, the other leg. I don't know why I have to turn around, but it just seems like I should do that, right? Here we go. Twenty seconds left. After this, we're gonna get up, do a little more cardio. Those prisoner squat jumping jacks. Five seconds. Come on, I know it's burning. Don't stop. Good. All right, you can remove the band now. You won't be needing it anymore. Okay. Let's get the heart rate up. Make sure you're bracing your core during this exercise as well. Easy to forget. Some of you guys might notice that I have my purple couch here again. So I'm in having it in the other room, but right before this Corona virus stuff happened, I was like, I'm going to switch up my carpet in my bedroom. Well, it's not a bedroom. I mean, don't use it as a bedroom. It's like my chill out room. But I'm going to change my carpet and I had it ripped out. Arch body hold. And then coronavirus struck. So now lift your arms and your legs, squeeze the entire back of your body, squeeze your glutes together. So now I have no carpet in there. So I moved the couch into the living room so that I have somewhere to actually sit. So that's why the couch is out here. Just breathe. Shoulder blades should be back and down. You can move your arms around a little if you like. It's for distraction or whatever. Are we almost there? Yeah, three seconds, go. Good job. All right, Cossack squats are next. So feet nice and wide. Ready? Here we go. Woo. Keep the chest up. Make sure the knees are not collapsing. Try to rotate those knees outwards. This is a really great one for your hips, for your mobility, and also for strength. It's also a good stretch for those inner thighs. I probably do this exercise most days just part of my little stretching routine, just because it feels so good. Good 
Good job. Okay, we're nearing the end. We've got two exercises left. We're gonna be doing commando plank, push up, and plank hop. Ready? Here we go. So it's down, down, up, up, push up, and hop. Other side. Down, down, up, up, push up, and hop. Down, down, up, up, push up, and hop. Whew. Uh, this is probably the weakest I've been at push-ups in a long time. Up, up, whew. push up, and hop. Down, down, up, up, good. All right, you don't need a mat anymore. Find that pendulum lunge with a switch lunge. Ready? Right leg, forward, back, switch. Forward, back, switch. Keep the chest up. Every time I look at the camera, I get off balance. So I'm not gonna look at you guys anymore. Switch, forward, back, brace the core, switch. Forward, back, switch. Forward, back, switch. Good job. All right, you guys, we did it. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel like that was a good level of intensity for me right now. A little out of breath, but not overly so. A little sweaty, I just feel good. So let me know what you thought about that in the comments. The next video I post will, I don't remember what it was, but like a month ago, I filmed a different workout that I haven't posted yet. So that'll be the next video. But after that, I'll probably do like another similar video to this, but maybe with weights. So let me know what you think. Um, yeah, thank you so much for working out with me. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy during these, you know, weird times, interesting times. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.